Hi everybody, Diane Hocutt here, Real Woman of Philadelphia from Little Rock, Arkansas. You know, lately I've been feeling a little anxious, um, you know, like those desperate women on that television show, The Bachelor, you know, they're anxiously awaiting to be chosen for that rose. Well, I'm anxiously awaiting my email from Paula telling me I am one of the 12 remaining contestants, finalists, that get to go to Savannah and cook with Paula. <sighs> Maybe. However, real women don't give up. We just keep on cooking, and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to submit this wonderful side dish recipe. It, um, it involves the perfect baked potato. We're going to need two baked potatoes, medium size, four ounces of butter, four cloves of garlic, eight ounces of fresh mushrooms, four tablespoons of uh, mixture of fresh herbs, mm, rosemary, thyme, and chives. We're going to need some bacon, and, of course, we're going to need some Philadelphia cream cheese, about four ounces. See you in a minute, and let's get cooking. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, okay, I've got a 400-degree oven. I'm going to put my two medium baked potatoes in. They're going to cook for about 45 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm getting my perfect baked potato topping going. Uh, I've taken my four tablespoons of butter, my four cloves of chopped garlic, my eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, and my four tablespoons of oh, wonderful herbs, rosemary, chives, and thyme. And remember, take the rosemary and um, thyme off the stalk. I'll show you. Just take it off the stalk and the green leaves are what you want and the stalk discard. But anyway, I've got this going. Um, isn't that wonderful? How it's reducing down. Mm. Okay, we're going to let that cook. Reduce down a little more. Oh, I've got my sizzling bacon. Look, that's going to be nice and crisp. Can't have the perfect baked potato without some bacon on top. And now for the winning ingredient here. It's going to pull this dish together. My four ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. It's just going to make this topping, oh, just so creamy and wonderful for your perfect baked potato. I'll see you in a minute when the baked potatoes get done. Mm. Oh, hi everybody. Welcome back. Oh, my buzzer is going off here. My baked potatoes. I checked them a while ago and they are done. Mm. That's, it's important to get a medium-sized baked potato because size does matter. They, uh, they bake in less time if you get a medium baked potato. And be careful with a hot potato. <laughs> but anyway, um, I've dished up my wonderful herb, uh, mushroom, and um, Philadelphia cream cheese topping. For my perfect baked potato, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to season that, and pepper. Mmm, that wonderful creamy texture. And I've crumbled my bacon. Uh, we're going to take each potato and cut it in half and sort of squunch it up. Get this around here for you to see. And we've got like four servings here. Um, mm, I'm going to spread my garlicky. Oh, mercy. This looks wonderful. Garlicky cream cheese mushroom herb side dish on the 
perfect baked potato, the perfect topping. I'm going to put a few sprigs of thyme just to decorate this dish up. Oh, doesn't that look gorgeous? Mm. And I'm serving it on, on a very favorite platter of mine, a, um, a platter. I used to make fudge in this platter when I was a kid, and uh, my mom gave it to me, and I just love it. But anyway, it goes great with the green platter, green herbs, and let me sprinkle my bacon bits. Mmm, and we're going to just test this recipe. Let me get a fork. See how good this is. Just take a little bite out of here. Get some of that Philadelphia cream cheese stuffing with mushrooms. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, and the garlic. Mmm. I need another little bite. Mmm. It is truly delicious. This is a perfect side dish. Perfect baked potato with the perfect topper. Try it. Mmm.